All right, I'm going to start recording in five, four, three, two, one. Good evening, and welcome to this recording of CMS. Today we'll be witnessing TC versus Fosha. It's going to be a good match. Joining me today is Patty, and this is also refed by Rejected and additionally recorded by Wintergreen. With that in mind, Patty, what are you thinking looking at these rosters today? Yeah, I think it'll be an interesting one. It's probably will end up being a bit close. I think TC's got the experience, but I feel like Foshi has been turning out pretty well against some of the bigger teams. So I think I'm looking for a Foshi win here on a on a prediction, but it'll be interesting to see. I think it'll be a close one. Certainly, um, most would imagine Foshi is the favorites coming into this one. I mean, compared against the, some of the other teams around that strength, and that strength, they've been more or less dominant, um, I believe, in their matches against Team Fallen. I know they've been dominant in some matches. I just can't remember exactly which. But they're a very good team, while TC still has a lot more to prove coming into this match. Yeah, and definitely have quite a few good pickups throughout the season. So have strengthened over time. It does look like they're running pretty bulky offense here. We've got a uh, heavy chemist, medic, and soldier coming off top. It's good to mention that this is a 10v10, so we should be seeing a 6 force split from both teams as well. Yeah, with that in mind, looks like FT offense already entering. They do have a heavy on offense, which is very good for them, especially on this map. A verge immediately on G Henry, but really nice job by G Henry to take him down. Pesto not able to get the steal by the turnaround from G Henry, and with the chemist going down, that will be a successful defense attempt for TC. Yeah, very well done. I think obviously the defense will depend a bit on Henry, but did look like the Roma helping out quite well there. Um, we'll be interesting to see if a Verge switches here. He's pretty good at Elf as well. And, you know, Elf is kind of viable on Elok, so we'll be interesting to see. How it's nice to see. Go. Certainly. It's nice to see TC's defense hold out like that. I certainly believe that's been their struggle most of the season, is not being able to hold out against the more experienced offenses on these teams. Say that now, G. Henry already getting a kill down. A reg decent steal, but looks like the frenzy reached him. Once again, should be a relatively successful attempt on defense for TC. Pesto goes down. The other side of map, TC offense trying to get around the dome. Swit on the right side, looking for that spawn sponge. Don't see much, much of her offense left other than the chemist. Necker is here as well. No medic at the moment. Looks like Swit will be able to buy some time for the rest of them. Stalling around the flag room. Necro is in. Chem is still taking some time though, and she'll probably go down with the Necro also being busy and Swit not in the AO. That will be failed attempt for TC. Other side of the map though, a Verge with a heavy steal. G Henry right behind him. Swap back into G Henry. Frenzy down. Still going to run it down mid. Nice job by Keeler there to stick him in that corner. No backup steals. That was beautiful. Yeah, very nicely done. Nice little hustle there from TC to make sure that was shut down quickly. It's interesting to see both of these offenses and defenses work. It does look like Fosh is running double bulk, which is definitely a bit harder to get around, and it's been probably why TC struggled to get in, but Swit has got a steal, has managed to get past the Pyro, and it looks to be going mid. Medic, oh, gets swapped back. Very nice swap. Yeah, looks like this will probably be the end of that. Needed the momentum to get out. Oh, gets boosted out towards spawn side. Who would have expected that? Ended up on top of the dome. Might need to get to the Medic as quickly as she can. Medic is right below, but getting railed by a heavy... So she decides to go over <laughs> and Haynes is there to close that out. So tragic. Really nice by Switch to go back and to, you know, stall it out, but ultimately just wasn't able to get the regen in that very moment. Verge is death packed here, taking lots of damage. Medic behind though, if he can just wait a bit. Unfortunately, Medic goes down and so will he. No backups left in the area other than Pesto, but he too will also go down. And un momento. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so back to the defenses, so first you're running double bulk, whereas TC opting for a bit of squishier, there's double ninja, uh, assassin, scout, and one bulk. So definitely interesting, I feel like if Fosha decides to run Necro, they would be able to stack pretty well. Um, but yeah, we'll see how they go. Does look like Hundredth is in on heavy, um, Elf, sorry, and somebody's left, looks like a Verge has left. So that's a quick change up from Fosha within three and a half minutes. Very interesting substitution there. You would think the heavy would be more viable on this map, but maybe he lagged out. In the meanwhile, a class you usually don't see on airlock, Necro. Italian Penguin got a very nice steal there, but unfortunately died to the Assassin Pesto on the other side of the things. Death tagged and on top of the flag room. Has Medic with. Just needs to be a bit more patient. Just be patient, Pesto. 
Might be able to stall this out a little more. Unfortunately, Medic goes down. Let's see if he has any stake. Stand still, you. <laughs> Tell me your stake. He's got one stake left. Should opt to go inside the dome at the moment as everything's outside, but instead waiting for the Medic still. Hopefully some of his defense roams up to maybe help. Maybe a ninja. If a ninja could go right up there, that'd be prime. But instead, he's getting conversed on and looks like Swit. Yep, gets that recov. Nice job though, hundredth instead of supporting, going for the backup steal, trying to fly it down mid. Should have gone spawn side there, unfortunately, and that's what happens. Some dirty backup stealers. Yeah, that was. I saw him waiting there for a long time. I didn't know if they actually knew that he was waiting for that, but <laughs> yeah, probably should have gone to spawn side. Ended up running straight back into all that recovery effort. <laughs> I mean, generally that's the best, you know, backup class right there, but. You know, maybe just hundred, hundred, hundredth just needs to get a little more practice on this map. He'll probably learn from that right there, though. That's a good way to learn. Yeah, good, good learning experience. <laughs> There's uh, something addressing the note. Sorry, is that? No, a, you go ahead. Blumishly... We're probably going to talk the same thing. <laughs> I was going to say, Bloomishly running assassin is quite interesting. Uh, normally, an offensive player hasn't really been able to play Assassin in competitive matches for quite a while because no one lets her, because offense is <laughs> such a rare role. <laughs> um, it's good yeah, to see though. To see how good she goes. Yeah, I mean, she has a lot of experience on it. And especially when she lags, it works. I'm not joking, it works. <laughs> Laggy Assassin works. It's the bane of every offensive player. You know, <laughs> it just it, it. it just unexpected, out of the ordinary. When are they going to use the assassinate? I don't know. You don't know. Only the server knows. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It does look like TC offense still struggling a bit here. Double bulk is pretty hard to deal with, especially on airlock. Barney like getting a nice skill. Yeah, he has the tag though on him. Good swap by Savvy. But even better job by Hundreds. Uh, he used that spawn sponge. I'm proud of him right here. Should have gone down to get that regen, but the medic is right in front. Ooh, nice swap. Just go under. Just go under, buddy. All right, gets the regen. Actually, very nice job of him. Don't fall. Oh, no! <laughs> oh, that's horrible. It happens sometimes. It does happen, it's very unfortunate. I mean, every so steal bad. he gets, he's getting further, so he's gonna cap. I mean, we're only seven minutes in. I believe in him. Yeah, it's looking very promising. You, you do be a bit heartbroken on those ones, though. <laughs> One thing to note, haven't really seen much of the defenses roaming up lately for the steals, and on a map like Airlock, that's something that's very important. Um, You know, a ninja to be able to knock back someone else. And on this map, you generally only run one other ninja. So without a ninja to knock things back, that's a game changer. So just being able to keep ninjas killed and, you know, roaming up, helping your flag carrier, it's a very important aspect of this map and many other maps. Barney already passed his original point of death. What did I say? Yeah. <laughs> he's got it this time. Yep, that's full restore down. 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 Whew! He's gonna do it. Unless this scout ruins his day, I don't even think they have death tag. Alright, they do, but he's going right under the post. Very nice. First cap going down. Took him a while, but looks like that substitution for a verge is working out very nice already. Yeah, very smart sub. And I think, you know, that's really good for 100 to get that steal probably. And cap uh, probably was a bit discouraged after those last two, but has come up. You know, got to change the momentum on yourself sometimes. Boost the ego a little. Oh, most certainly. Oh, one thing to know, is Fosha running any ninjas? Yeah, or they just... has been on ninja. He's been roaming around. Ah, I see. He's actually pushing up with their offense right now. I like that. Yep, looks like most of FT is heading into blue at the moment. Yeah, Ains makes it to flag room, managed to distract Henry, so finally gets the steal going towards mid. Assassin and ninja on him needs to kill both. Gets some assassin. Ninja still above, manages to go under. He's avoiding, but gonna get cut off, and that's Henry being Henry and catching up. <laughs> he did really nice there to avoid the defense and to avoid the assassin, but when it's the pyro and assassin, you either block and you die to pyro, or you keep running and you die to assassin. It's a lose-lose situation, and unfortunately, he took the losing side. Yeah, it's definitely something you probably have to try guess on if William had used assassinate early on, and if you take your chances just trying to run. 
Blue um, roaming up right now, actually. She's about to go into the flag room. Can she get past the heavy? Unfortunately, she does not. But it's nice to see that roam up. Yeah, it looks like Hundred another steel does have the medic right behind, but Scout's there as well. Trying to swap him back. He's trying to shield it as well, so he's doing all right. Manages to get out. He's going to try wind up. Boy, there, <laughs> there he goes. Kind well, Precarious is here. Ooh. And Henry as well. Over, that's nice, oh. but runs into the heavy. But what yeah, a move there, right. though. That was nice. <laughs> yeah, it hit, hit Henry with the wind, but yeah, it does manage to run into the rest of TC defense who are doing a good job of coming on, cutting him off. Hunter has been getting very nice steals so far. And I mean, he hasn't, I don't see him on as much, you know, when it comes to PPMs as many of the other players I see online right now. So originally I would have questioned some of his experience in pathing. And I thought that's what I saw happening, but he keeps, you know, adapting and evolving and being reactive to all of his routes. He's doing a very nice job to just continue giving the pressure throughout this match. Yeah, I think he did end up leaving at one point during the season, but has returned. So I think Bosch is pretty happy to have him back and he's doing a good job. Certainly. Um, and in the first place, originally, I kind of questioned why he was on offense. You know, not like ninja defense for them. I, I certainly think he's a very good ninja defender. But he's proving me wrong as we speak. I mean, he's been a steel machine almost every single push. Swit now out on top of the flag room. She's going to go down, though, unfortunately. I just don't think TC has the correct composition at this moment to generate captures and support. I mean, the necro on airlock is one thing. And airlock on necro in 10v10s, it's just so rough. Yeah, you kind of need to have a couple of capping threats, and yeah, Necro doesn't really have that capability of running away. Especially against double heavy! That hurts! <laughs> Does seem like Pesto might be out. Uh, yep. Looks like he's on top, getting deep Very deep, low. Deep low. Has a lot of people in front of him, should go down here. No one around for the backup, doesn't seem. So, looks like another secure push for TC. Still need to capture it, at least try to tie it up. But the Elf is actually in, has got past Henry, and the Medic's right there. This might be a dangerous situation. Henry does manage to get back in front. He's going straight down mid, but gets stalled by the Scout into the Assassinate. Very well done. Probably the best Assassin in the game, by the way. Just saying, okay. Bloom right there. I'm just saying, she she was down herself pre-match telling me that she was going to play Assassin, but she was pretty good. <laughs> she was pretty good when she played Assassin against me back in the day, so I think the rust is going to come off soon. Certainly. I mean, we're just getting started today. Yeah, I know. She's gonna she's gonna start getting ten kill streaks. She's gonna go crazy. <laughs> I'm ready for it. TC offense now entering flag room. They have a ninja roamed up. Although notably, Pesto gets a steal in the meantime while this ninja's roamed up. Was... Yeah, Haynes did come up to support and managed to knock Henry away. And is there again to get rid of the scout, but he's gonna get cut off by the assassin who manages to make him block. Should be pretty low here. I can't see the medic nearby. Henry is above him as well. Gotta watch out for that, buddy. Nobody wants to run into Henry. Oh Henry boy. Down Jump the Henry. gap. Oh, well near the void. Both ninjas go down. Scout's still there with the DT. He still hasn't got a restore. The medic got the pots. Off. He's gotta go. He's gotta go. Ah, there and there it is. The, the stall was there, but TC were doing a lot of. putting a lot of pressure on Laurie, trying to go for the, the spawn hit. But he manages to stay away from that. Should be able to capture it from here. But Henry's in front. Uh oh! <laughs> no, <I> don't. <laughs> Does manage to get past it. Now that opens up the opportunity for them to get a steal as Chemist going out the far tunnel. Oh, actually, coming back into mid has the fire right behind. They probably should recover this unless something miraculous happens. Oh! And a nice way of it. That is the capture. That's 2 0 to Fosha. One thing to note, Tom's pots there on the Pesto were perfectly timed when he jumped down. I don't know if, I think Pesto would have died there had it not been for that, because just the heavy was there and he was so low. But, you know, nice job by both of them. Both of those to secure the cap, Pesto and Tom. It's LeBron, James, and Dwayne Wade in the making. <laughs> well, that's something that I think Coach is definitely capable of at the moment, is being able to push up a couple people on defense. Does look that ninja still almost got past Jimmy Damn! <laughs> she so almost he ran that thing out! He did the intercept with the end of her, jumped right <laughs> in it. That's the last way to get a soldier steal going on top of the flag room. Uh, don't see that going too far, it does go down. The combo that she had to get to run that out, 
after getting pearl blocked was very impressive, but nice job by the pirate to block it. Tom with a nice steal. He is tagged. Feels like the carrier is tagged every time for FT. I mean, Savvy has been doing such a nice job to get that death tag down. I think he's just saving it for when they steal. And realistically, it works, but tag will run out. Already past top mid. Don't see a ninja or scout in the area. Unless something gets in front or a steal happens, this will be the map for FT. Swit with a steal in the meantime will go down though quite quickly. Nothing else in the flag room, and that's going to be the map. FT 3 0. And as a moderator, you get the joys of seeing the dislikes come in. <laughs> <laughs> Some people potentially not too happy with it. But it was an interesting map. It looked like Fosha managed to close it out just in time. Get all three captures. I think one of the main issues for TC, and this might be for many of their matches, to be honest, it's not the players they're running with, because many of these players have been playing for years, and they're long proven, you know, are any of them champions? I don't know, but they, some of them might be, but just the roles they're running, I think, are quite questionable, you know, when it comes to Italian Penguin, I mean, he'll, I hope he's elf on this map, but he shouldn't be Necro, 10v10, airlock, and then not running double heavy on defense, also something that might be Kick, you know, biting them in the butt. Yeah, definitely some composition issues, but that's all right. I mean, you need to work them out throughout. It does look like Fosh is going to make some subs. I did hear through the grapevine that we will be seeing an Archer main log onto the server. Mm. Very excited to see <laughs> the debut of somebody who was definitely warming up against the Rockstar season earlier. Did see some really incredible clips of some incredible performance here on Low Rise. I think we will be seeing Mr. Pepe Mint or Pepe come in as Archer for Fosh. So this should be a big game changer. We're about to get some highlights on him or against him. We're going to see. Yeah, I can't wait for the man, the myth, the legend. That is Pepe to come in. But where's Kev when you need him? Where is he? Kev, the Shadow Slayer. Yeah, it's definitely definitely a matchup I would like to see. Kev still very good at Archer, even if you don't see him on very often. It would still kick me in the ass. But <laughs> If I saw Kev on right now, I would... I would give TC this map win as a prediction, but it's sad I don't see Kev on. Kev, I miss you. Please call me. <laughs> I think it is important to note, though, that... Uh, I mean, it is G. Henry, but this is slightly pyro-nerfed, uh, this map. Can get knocked down pretty easily, but I don't see Henry having too many issues, but that is one of their core defenses that will now have a bit more of a hard time. Oh yeah, it, keep Fosher out. If you have a pyro on this map, you want it to be G Henry or Ronger Box. Those are the pyros to beat. They are going to put everything on their back, no matter the flag room. Yeah, same tier, same tier. <laughs> oh. So I'm gonna check the limits real quick and see who they got on Archer for. That is who they got on Archer today. Is Haynes gonna Archer maybe? We've seen a lot of Haynes Archer. Pepe, that's right. Pepe. I'm, I've been looking for the limits for TC. I'm I was say, we've just been hyping Pepe up to Archer. <laughs> yeah, I'm Quite trolling myself so much. <laughs> uh, it does look like Italian Penguin will be his Archer match. Ooh, the Very debut. Good. Well, they do have someone who flex up onto the offense as well. They've got plenty of offensive players on TC, so it'll be interesting to see. There's 40 seconds till the time runs out. It does look like both teams should be ready by now. So, to have Italian on that archer, it's interesting, but I like it. It lets Zeng play soldier as well with Swit. And Sw Swit and Zeng, that is, you know, one of the original soldier duos. They're just missing Arctic Wolf, and then they've got the whole trio. Yeah, that's it. You need to run the TC soldiers going back to tradition. And especially you know, on such an old map like this. If they're going to win a map, that's how they win it. You know, with going back to their roots and the soldiers, you know, if they don't have the position to run the elf, then run the soldiers. And I'm excited to see this. Yeah, it looks like we're on, we're off. I stuffed up the start. Oh no, it's not good. It's not <laughs> we're good. on, we're <laughs> off. Ninja already <laughs> moving up for FT. Looks like Snowd Snowden is dead. That does seem to happen quite a lot. Henry does have a pretty good bow when it comes to invisible ninjas. That's a pretty good RNG. <laughs> oh, poor Diamond Girl. She just got swarmed. Looks like 
that's the story for most of the TC offense right now. It's TC's, I mean, FT has been doing a very nice job of just swarming the offense and making sure everyone dies. And with that, it looks like they're even staggered now as well. The other side of things. Uh, G Henry does G Henry things, just an elf left. And G Henry did the G Henry thing. Man, man does need credits. I mean, he probably doesn't have enough by now. <laughs> Stay near the bomb. How many does he even have? When was the last time it announced how many he has? <laughs> I have no idea, but I'm sure it's some ridiculous amount. Saying trying to get to the post right now. I don't think she knows she has a ninja in the area. Oh, but nice by Swit to go from behind. Nice by Loreen to try to get a little damage off there and distraction on the Pyro. She's trying to avoid damage right now. Almost did a nice job there, but unfortunately Pyro was able to predict her movements. Yeah, good job by the bulk there. I think that's something that we haven't really talked about. Z is doing a pretty good job of being able to occupy at least one person, crit them out, and keep them in a the corner. And that was a good denial of opportunity there. She tried to get up and run away and managed to knock it back down into the pyre. Mm, she, the bulk she, she's been proving you know, she can play just as tough and rough as any of the other bulk defenders out there. I mean, she's already roamed up looking for a target target acquired she's locking in on swift right now you know oh switching back on the other soldier i mean her game sense is improving certainly and she's proving to be a very good bulk defender yeah definitely something that you need to be a bit aware of uh did look like she was a bit split between two people there but it doesn't matter two people go to the flag room one goes down to the headshot from the gold tier Pepe Mint. Zeng does get the steal though, seems pretty decent, but has double ninja on her. Might need to, yeah, that goes down right there. Spain the without the S. <laughs> nice steal by Pesto's, got the regen out on the left side for them. Don't see the archer at the moment either. Good swap by Savvy to get him back into a more workable position. Archer now on top of the flag room, not sure if that's the desired position for him. I'm not an archer main, but... As long as Pesto can keep moving, I don't see a headshot coming out, although it looks like TC's been able to take over the rest of his support. He's going to need to stall a bit more, maybe just go behind the flag room. But finally, the headshot comes down. The hammer! There's a ninja seal coming out the back. Oh, he's close straight at the Oh, no! <laughs> <laughs> what have we learned? Dirty backup stealers, you gotta pearl or go the other way. <laughs> Yeah, but on the top of uh, Archer position, it's definitely an interesting one. Probably a bit easier to go from the ground if a bulk comes up here. If the soldier's ratting up here, can just easily knock you off and kill you pretty easily with the full damage. Um, and you probably get more opportunities from this spot just in front of spawn, otherwise on the helicopter. But, you know, I think it's a pretty secure space. So if he's taking his time, taking his shots, and you know, things can work out. I would like to see Pepe use a bit more of an aggressive position. You know, with that in mind, now that I, I'm pretty sure Italian's just on the top. Yeah, Italian's been solely on the top, and that's probably because he knows he won't be able to take those duels. So Pepe needs to take advantage of that. Yeah, I, I do wonder if they will ask him to kind of push up and put pressure on Italian, or if they're kind of okay leaving him up there. Probably not a, like a well-known archer main. It's a decent shot and definitely has a good amount of practice on it, but probably not anywhere near as... Uh, you know, influential as other archers. Like the Spartan 33 on Archer. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> exactly who I was thinking of. Steel's coming out for FT. Very nice job by all the offense. They were very coordinated there, but Assassin... Boom, boom, boom! Getting that down. Haynes goes for the steal. Perfectly timed Pearl. Pearl it all the way down. Does drop. Will Lorraine be able to catch up? Yep, she does. Almost a perfect job by Haynes, but it looks like he just got a bit too low. Maybe needed to time some pearls out, but he really wanted to cover distance. Yeah, I think fair enough. And like, if if it was just a little bit, a little bit further that pearl, it probably would have been okay. But I think at least at least he didn't pearl into the recovery coming back. <laughs> oh, we're seeing improvement by the ninjas. I mean, every steal we see in the game, it just gets better and better. Nice water. Looks like Tom did switch to elf. I like that. This is a good elf map. Doesn't look like he has very much wind though, but the ninjas are boosting. Very nice reflect with the pearl. Fortunately, wasn't able to reflect that. Into the assassinate! Bloom, bloom, bloom! <laughs> she comes again. It's Watch insane. Out any assassins on TC. She's coming for your position. That's all I'm saying. I think, I think it's safe to say the position's gone already. <laughs> <laughs> I 
And I say, Assassin main. So we actually see Keeler's. Keeler, I think Keeler is bulk necro defense. Huh. I mean, it's not, it's not entirely bad, actually. It actually stalls people out pretty well. And if you're playing in duos like he is now with Sloppy, it could work out pretty well. The wither effect is absolutely <laughs> Damn. Hard. Yeah, revive yeah, tag ninja. Go. I mean, there's more useful stuff, but it's very annoying. So, Haynes actually knocks the pyro down. G. Henry's just trying to wait, wait it out. But nice job by Tom. Just flies away from him. Easy as that. Oh, oh but another swap back into- <laughs> BLOOM! <laughs> Holy! Stand up performance. It's really, insane. We're, we're, we're talking about G Henry being the core of the defense, but I think at the moment it's bloomishly. She's really pulling out. I think Henry's slacking. Finally, Pepe did move up into the more aggressive position, right next to the chopper. Actually, got the headshot onto Italian. That should make the offense for FT a lot easier without having to deal with an archer. So good timing by Pepe. They have the ninja here too. Haynes. Unfortunately goes down, but that gets the chemist a very nice steal. Tag goes down, but medic right behind. He is not on swap cooldown. This is the spot, but beautiful webs. Oh, got everybody. Just have to watch out for the scout now or headshots. Italian trying to get shots down, but Pepe giving him backup in the meanwhile. Assassin far off in the distance. Don't see him going down here at the moment. Good steal by the ninja though. She has, yep, she had medic regen. Oh, we're gonna go to stale. Wait, where'd it go? Huh? Oh, I think she may have passed it too early before she pearled. <laughs> she just she, she tried to lob it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, it was a good game sense. It's very well done, but almost the insane play. It seems like Pesto has a nice backup steal off that knocks the archer down, which is what I was warning for before. It does have Henry pursuing and is on fire. It does have the elf to pass through, and he does. He's gonna keep going here. Should be pretty safe, actually. He does have a lot of wind. Should be able to get past. Just avoids Cherry. We do love avoiding our meadows. They don't need anything. But don't Blumish even need him. Blumishly's around. But where? Da dun, da dun. Oh. <laughs> Unfortunate. It does look like the elf will be able to come in and get this second capture. Yep. Looks like FT taking advantage of the momentum. Sometimes, you know, the backup seal after a capture works very well against a more disorganized team. You know, when the comms are down and nobody knows what's in the flag room. It's good to take advantage of that. I just I just witnessed a very heated exchange between Bloomishly and G. Henry in game. She's staring <laughs> him down at the flag post. I think she's telling him to pick up his game, to be honest. I did just leave the flag post to her. G. Henry, go move and kill things. I think that's what we're learning at this point. Yeah, I, I think I think that's how TC wins, really. That's they the win condition. Like 10 minutes to turn it around. <laughs> Nice distraction by Haynes. Good steal by Tom. Gonna get out that side. Medic restore in full effect. The archer in position. Don't see him at the moment. Pepe is very far up. Yep, no tag out. You're gonna need a swap here or a steal or else this will be the game. Keeler's trying to snipe with the necro skulls to slow him down, but it doesn't come through <laughs> and this should be... The He's been an Australian sniper throughout the game, but unfortunately <laughs> not in that last moment. That will be the game. G... G. That is 3-0-3-0 to Fosha. Very well done from Fosha. Very entertaining match, though. Did enjoy it. Had That's a good time. Said, who in the world do we make player of the game? <laughs> I mean, I first map, it. I'd say it was 100th, hands down. Second map, I'd say it was Bloom. But for offense, for FT, it was Tom. So what are we thinking here? Yeah, I would. I definitely think if Hunter had a capped a bit more in this map, I would give it to him. But I think Tom. I think he he always like he was supporting Pesto really well with those pots. I think on Airlock, if I remember correctly, and got a couple of captures here after switching to Elf, which was an interesting move. So, yep, not only supporting but making captures as well. Nothing well, nothing else you can ask of an offense main. So very nice job by him. I can agree. Tom D, P O T G. Yeah, it looks like the teams are going to have a bit of fun around here as well. Oh. Might be witnessing a Pyro 1v1 at mid. Might try to get an interview in, if we can, from Fosha. Interview? I'll, I'll probably just stop recording here. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be interesting to see if anyone pops in, but...
right. Does... Wait, is the Pyro 1v1 happening? Oh, it's I happening! Hold on. <laughs> Why is there an assassin nearby? Get the assassin out of here. Somebody kill that. Alright, where's the challenger? Oh, here he is. Yo, this dude's farming <laughs> caps! Moderator, stop him! Here we go, on the bridge. Alright, here we go. This? I think this is the main event. Really. I, I, I stopped, unfortunately, <laughs> but <laughs> we, I think we have winner on... Yep. Oh, here we go! Oh! Immediately the flint's still down! That's a quick drop! Ah! Wait, and just like that, <laughs> FT wins 2-0, to zero, the game and the Pyro 1v1. <laughs> Very nicely done. It does look like we have a couple of Fosher boys here with us. We have Pesto and Tom joining us. How are we doing, fellas? We're okay. Um, it's certainly nice to win a game. Because I, I think the last time we won a game was against Team Foreman. Um, so... Everyone, yeah, everyone's feeling good about that. We, we all really wanted to get today's win, obviously. Gentlemen, I have an important yeah, question yeah. for you guys. What made you substitute a Verge out for 100th? And why did um, it work so damn well on Airlock? Uh, G. Henry. G. Stop. Henry. <laughs> right, so normally we play with um, a Verge to support Cherry on Medic. He's, a, he's really good at supporting Cherry. Um, however, we evaluated that the bigger problem uh, that we were going to face was uh, G. Henry uh, rather than perhaps TC's Rome. And Cherry was uh, getting away with things perhaps a little more than um, she would normally. Um, so, yeah, and it's especially since we're in 10s now, because we've been playing 12s a little bit more, in which case we would have, you know, that bulk support in Cherry. But, um, yeah, so we, we decided that having Barney in on Elf to get the water off um, to counter G. Henry a little bit. Um, would help and it, and it did so after that we got a bunch of steals certainly i mean at the end of the dungeon lays the raid boss and it looks like you guys were able to get a good enough party <laughs> apart from the times that you know where uh, someone may have fallen in the void boss trying to support pesto but we won't talk about that i, I hate barney oh, no, I'm, joking. I'm joking i'm joking that was me not barney what are you on the path? that was you i thought yeah, it was barney oh uh, anyway, pesto did a great bad. job pesto what would your thoughts be I, i'm kind um, of Reverse interview, not I Oh, know. I like this. <laughs> now the teams ask the interviews. We, we got it. We got a nice yeah. pat off. So yeah, I low key, I low key carried Fodius off. And no, I'm just kidding. Um, I did. I feel like I did pretty good today. Um, like, I feel like lately, like in this tournament, I've like really improved a lot. Like, I, mean, I don't want, I don't want to become narcissistic or anything, but like, you I know, I feel like MIP, I MIP, MIP. <laughs> anyway, so we did kind of practice passing from Pesto to me. Uh, in some practices, like you know, when he's low or whatever and he's trying to stall, if I just get there as well, we did do it that a couple of times before, so it was nice to do that in the match. Uh, yeah, so, so yeah. So, anyway. one more important question. Um, I saw I noticed on airlock and generally, you know, through the whole vibe of the match, defensive roam ups can help us steal quite well. Um, now when Haynes was roaming up, he did it quite often and very efficiently, got the pyro multiple times, got the archer, he did what he had to do. Was that did he coordinate that? Did he coordinate that himself, or were people telling him to do, you know, roam up? Or is Hange just that good? Def definitely, mostly like Hange's initiative. But there were a few times where, like Hange, do you think you could push up now? Because um, I think I think normally uh, our defense is under a bit of well, quite a lot of strain. Because uh, sometimes our defense struggles quite a bit. But it was nice to be able to have Hange free to push up a little bit. Um, so yeah. Haynes wouldn't normally like push up in those games as much as he did today, and it was great to have him there, uh, especially on low rise, you know, hitting the fire away and stuff. Oh, yeah, he's uh, an angel child. Oh, yes. Now, uh, one yeah. more Pesto Tom. I know you guys remember this, and I'm sure one of you almost pooped your pants in this moment. But on Airlock, when you were death tag Pesto and you were a zero stake, no medic around, and you had to take the leap of faith into Tom's arms and he got you the pot into capture. Ooh. Oh, yes. What yeah. were you feeling there in that moment? Um, okay. I mean, okay. <laughs> okay. Wait, wait, wait. Let, me, let me answer this. Okay. Fun, fun story. <laughs> yeah, fun story. Um, a few weeks ago in the Annie match, um, I had the flag, right? And I was pretty low. Um, exactly and I was, the same thing. <laughs> I was running towards the spawn and I saw Tom there and I was expecting him to throw a regen pot. Um, and he didn't. He he threw a damage pot instead. So I was really glad that he 
you know, did the opposite, I guess, that <laughs> time and threw a regen pot. Um, but I do think that sort of, like, in all seriousness, I do feel like that was a really clutch moment from Tom. It's, like, really good, you know, Tom's a really well-experienced chemist, so when you have players like him, like, it's, it makes things a lot easier um, when you're playing offense, so. Thank you, Festo. It's good to hear. Yeah. One I last question. No, I <laughs> <laughs> so, I don't know your guys' current playoff conditions. I don't know if you guys have been tracking that, but going forward, you know, just assuming who your opponents are going to be, um, I imagine it'd probably be more in the end, maybe CX and your DF. I imagine those are your guys' conditions. I'm not too sure. But what are your guys' thoughts going into, you know, the first round and you guys have to face up against one of those more difficult teams? I mean, so um, I feel like we still didn't do too badly against those teams when we played them in the playoffs. There were some, some you know, like, for example, against um, against DF, they ended run down quite quickly. Um, but we, we were able to kind of identify the areas where we were doing badly. And I feel like we can still perform well against them it, 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 even though if that you know it even even if we might not win the game we might still put up a good fight right um and you, you, you could look at the annie match where we uh they they, they 303 odors but we got to full duration on airlock we got many steals that were at mid if not further um and uh yeah it was just the small little tiny things that our offense can do to help support and uh have people on defense roaming up to help and at, at the same time our defense a few little little tiny things about uh when to push out a flag and when to roam so on airlock like a big point i made today to our bulks were was that um they should be pushing out of the flag a bit more than usual because we did a practice yesterday and they were kind of staying in the flag a bit too much but you know being able to prevent five or six people getting in because i think that's kind of uh something that we aren't too good at is stopping you know these big pushes of five or six players getting in yep um, it's tough but you guys have a lot of time to practice with playoffs you know set back until the new year also playoffs an unknown time <laughs> yeah. ctf tournament 2022 yes hey and i mean but, with um some of our new roster pickups as well season two is looking pretty good Yep, and, you know, no matter how far you get, there's always the second stage, too, the loser's bracket, so the sky's the limit, you know? You guys have many opportunities, so I'm excited to watch you guys in the future, excited to see how you guys do. Good job today, and congrats on the fat dub. Thank you very much, Scott. Thank you. Hey, you can stop recording, Winter. <laughs> yeah, I stopped recording a while ago. Oopsie. <laughs>